we've seen ChatGPT, along with other generative AI applications, do some incredible things. From writing WordPress plugins to mimicking the styles of famous authors, it's been quite a journey. But is there a limit to what ChatGPT can do? The research paper published by Stanford University has shed light on some worrisome aspects of ChatGPT4. The study has highlighted that the AI model's behavior has undergone changes over time, and these changes have not been favorable. The research indicates a significant decline in GPT-4's performance on various tasks when compared to its predecessors such as GPT-3.5. This decline in performance raises serious concerns about the progress and advancements made in the development of AI models. The expectation is that newer versions of AI models should show improvement and enhanced capabilities compared to their earlier counterparts. However, the findings from the research paper suggest the opposite that GPT-4's performance has regressed in comparison to GPT-3.5. The reasons behind this decline in performance might be multifaceted. It could be related to changes in the underlying architecture, training data, or the techniques used to fine-tune the model. Understanding the root causes of the degradation is crucial for the AI community to address and rectify the issues. Additionally, the study's results highlight the need for continuous monitoring and evaluation of AI models, even after their initial deployment. AI systems can encounter performance issues over time due to changing data distributions, concept drift, or other factors that affect their generalization ability. Regular assessments and updates are necessary to ensure AI models can remain accurate, reliable, and aligned with their intended use cases. The Stanford University research paper serves as a valuable contribution to the field of AI ethics and development. It emphasizes the importance of transparency, accountability, and ongoing evaluation in the design and deployment of AI systems. Understanding the potential limitations and risks associated with AI models is crucial for promoting responsible AI usage and mitigating any negative impacts on users and society. The research conducted on GPT-4's performance in solving math problems showed a stark contrast between GPT-4 and its predecessor, GPT-3.5. In GPT-3.5, the model achieved an impressive accuracy rate of 97.6% when solving math problems. This high level of accuracy made it a reliable tool for various tasks that involved mathematical reasoning and calculations. However, the concerning part comes when we look at GPT-4's performance. The accuracy in solving math problems drastically dropped to a mere 2.4%. This sharp decline indicates that GPT-4 is struggling to provide correct answers for mathematical queries, which significantly reduces its usefulness in practical applications. On the other hand, GPT-3.5 showed improvement in its math problem-solving capabilities. Its accuracy rate increased from 70.4% to 86.8%. This improvement suggests that GPT-3.5, despite being an older version, is more reliable in providing accurate math-related responses compared to the newer GPT-4. The decline in GPT-4's math problem-solving accuracy raises serious questions about the quality and reliability of the answers it provides it could potentially lead to incorrect information being generated and distributed, causing significant problems for users who rely on the AI's assistance in tasks that involve mathematics. This degradation in performance might also indicate underlying issues in GPT-4's architecture or training data, which would require careful investigation and improvement to address these shortcomings. As AI models are developed and deployed, maintaining or improving their accuracy and reliability is crucial for their successful integration into various real-world applications. Indeed, the decline in GPT-4's ability to generate intermediate steps in problem-solving and code generation is another significant concern. In contrast to its predecessor GPT-3.5, which was capable of providing detailed step-by-step -step reasoning and comprehensive solutions, GPT-4 seems to struggle in this aspect. The ability to generate intermediate steps is crucial, especially in fields that involve complex problem-solving or coding tasks. It allows users to understand the logic behind the AI's answers and helps them learn from the process. With GPT-4's diminishing capability in this area, 
users might receive simple code snippets or partial solutions, lacking the full context and reasoning behind them. This limitation can hinder the practical applications of GPT-4 in various industries. For example, in software development, a comprehensive code generation with well-explained intermediate steps is vital for producing high-quality and efficient code. GPT-4's inability to provide such detailed explanations might lead to code that works but is poorly optimized and difficult to maintain. Similarly, in educational settings, students and educators often rely on AI-based tools to aid in understanding complex topics and problem-solving. GPT-4's lack of comprehensive reasoning could result in surface-level answers that do not contribute to a deeper understanding of the subject matter. The decline in intermediate step generation might be attributed to changes in GPT-4's architecture or the training process. To ensure the practical usability of AI models like GPT-4, it's crucial to address and rectify this issue. The capability to provide detailed reasoning and comprehensive solutions not only enhances the overall performance of the AI, but also increases its reliability and usefulness in real-world scenarios. As AI advances, maintaining and improving its reasoning abilities will be vital in unlocking its full potential across various applications. The rumors surrounding GPT-4's architecture suggest a departure from the traditional single large model approach. Instead, it is said to utilize several smaller and specialized models. While this new approach may offer advantages in terms of cost-effectiveness and faster processing times, it appears to have an adverse impact on the model's overall performance and quality. The shift to multiple smaller models might have been implemented to improve scalability and reduce computational expenses. Training and maintaining a single large model can be resource-intensive and expensive. By dividing the workload among smaller models, the development and deployment costs could be reduced, making the AI system more accessible to a wider audience. However, the trade-off for cost and speed seems to come at the expense of the model's performance. Users have reported a significant decline in success rates compared to the previous version, GPT-3.5, which might have offered a higher level of accuracy and reliability. This decline raises concerns about the effectiveness of GPT-4 and its ability to provide consistent and dependable results. The drop in success rates could be attributed to several factors. First, the use of specialized models might lead to a lack of generalization across different tasks, resulting in reduced overall performance. Second, the individual smaller models might not have the same level of sophistication and fine-tuning as a single large model impacting the AI's ability to handle complex and diverse queries effectively. To address this issue, further research and development might be required to optimize the performance of GPT-4's multiple models, or find a balance between cost efficiency and quality. It is essential to strike a harmony between cost and performance while ensuring that the AI model remains reliable and valuable to its users. As with any AI system, continuous improvements and user feedback play a crucial role in refining the technology. If the reported decline in success rates persists, developers might need to reevaluate their approach and make necessary adjustments to regain the level of accuracy and user satisfaction achieved in the previous versions of GPT. The potential rejection of GPT-4 serves as a significant wake-up call for the AI development community prompting important questions about the future trajectory of artificial intelligence. This situation underscores the criticality of conducting rigorous testing and validation processes before introducing AI models to the public or integrating them into real-world applications. AI technology has the potential to revolutionize various industries, from healthcare and finance to education and customer service. However, it must be approached with caution and a deep sense of responsibility. The reported decline in GPT-4's accuracy and reasoning abilities indicates that AI models can still face significant challenges and limitations, despite advancements in the field. To prevent potential failures and negative consequences, developers and researchers must prioritize safety, reliability, and ethical considerations throughout the AI development lifecycle. Robust testing methodologies, encompassing diverse scenarios and use cases are crucial to identify and address any weaknesses or shortcomings in AI models before they reach the hands of users. 
ethical use and deployment of AI technology are equally imperative. Ensuring that AI systems are designed to adhere to ethical principles, respect user privacy, and avoid biased decision-making is essential for building public trust and acceptance. The rejection of GPT further emphasizes the need for transparent AI development practices, where users can understand the system's limitations and potential biases. Moreover, regulatory bodies and industry standards play a crucial role in shaping the future of AI development. Collaborative efforts between researchers, developers, policymakers, and ethicists can establish guidelines and regulations that promote responsible AI innovation. By learning from the potential shortcomings of GPT-4 and other AI models, the community can advance towards safer, more reliable, and more effective AI systems. Rigorous testing, transparent practices, and adherence to ethical principles are essential pillars for the successful integration of AI into various industries and domains. Ultimately, the rejection of GPT-4 could serve as a valuable lesson and an opportunity to recalibrate the AI development process, fostering a culture of continuous improvement and responsible innovation in the field of artificial intelligence. While GPT-4 was highly anticipated for its advancements, the research paper from Stanford University reveals some worrying developments. The model's decline in performance and reasoning capabilities raise concerns about its practical applications and overall reliability. As AI technology continues to evolve, developers and researchers must address these issues and ensure the responsible and beneficial use of AI in our society. That's all for today's video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting AI updates. Until next time, take care and happy learning!